Hey, you, dirty face, get him. Come on. Amateur. Easy, kid. Go ahead and shoot. I don't care. The trouble with you is you're packing a gun too heavy for you. Yeah, I could have got you then. Maybe. And maybe not. I ain't so slow with a 45 as you think. I knew you weren't a cold-blooded killer. And you're not very salty as a hold-up artist, either. I'll bet this is your first job. Don't risk no money on it. I knew you were an amateur when you let that fellow draw his pocketbook. It might have been a gun. How much did you get? I ain't counted it yet. This all of it? I only took from one. Great big fellow with a dirty face. I didn't like him. You don't put a very high price in your life, do you? You risked it for $7.38. I didn't need much. What did you want it for? Why, uh... I was hungry. Come along with me. We're going to Alder. We ain't. You can kill me, but you ain't going to turn me over the law. Hey! Where's the marshal? We've been held up. You mean you was, Legal? <laughs> yes, uh, I was. There was $307.38 in my wallet. Are you sure about the 38 cents? Uh -huh. What's up? Somebody's been picking on poor little Slagle. It ain't no joke. Marshal, you've got together a posse and... That's him. Steady, kid. Hey, 
Hey, where'd you come from? Up north the ways. Who's that with you? Friend of mine. Name's, uh... Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> Well, you ain't very particular about your friend. He looks to me like the jigger that held up the stage. You're right observant. He is. And that being the case, I guess this belongs to you. He said he got it from a big ranny with a dirty face. There's $7.38 in it. Count it and see if that's right. What's become of the 300, Slago? Say, what are you two trying to pull off? Just a little joke. I bet the kid he didn't have the nerve to hold up the stage single-handed. And he called my bluff. Well, it may be a joke to you. But in this country, it's called highway robbery. Nichols, there's your man. Grab him. You get your money back, Slago. No harm done. I'll not arrest that boy for playing a prank. Oh, you won't, huh? Well, if you won't throw him in jail, I will. You're willing to call it a joke. Come on, kid. We can eat now. Thanks for a sense of humor, Marshal. Much obliged, mister. You aiming to stay in this section long? Maybe if I could find a job. Well, I can use a hand or two. I'm Jess Peters, foreman of the J.E. Spread. John Endicott, huh? How is he? Right well. Oh, you know him? Why, heard of him. The squarest man in this country. Top pay and easy work. Well, I'm kind of hungry now. Uh, suppose I'll let you know later. Oh, well, suits me. I hope you sign up. You do know John Endicott. Used to, years ago. Salt of the earth. But why'd you say that? You've got a lot to learn, kid. But so have I. So I guess I'm just naturally bad. You see, my dad was a horse thief. But hung him. That's too bad, kid. But it doesn't make you bad. Why, well, I once knew the meanest rustler ever decorated a cottonwood. And his son grew up to be a sheriff. Gosh, I'd sure like to be a law officer. I could make up for some of the things my dad did. either one of you, but I'm foreman of a spread that needs men. Now, I'll forget what just happened if you'll sign up. What's the outfit? The Ace of Spades, owned by Clint Hollister. What about the kid? Oh, I didn't use him. Well, you've hired a couple of hands. Now, my name's Bib. Bib Slagel. What hand are you using? Oh, one name's as good as another. I hail from Idaho. Well, in Idaho it is. As soon as you finish, come over to Baskin's store. I had a job for you. Gee, I'd a lot rather work for Jess Peters than that dirty-faced jigger. I know you would, kid. But I rode 1,500 miles just to get a job on Hollister's spread. Now, now, Methuselah, don't be sipping that halter or I'll wail the oven. 
Howdy, Mr. Bascom. Hello, Tumblebug. How are you? Oh, just tolerable. Uh, say, uh, 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 oh, I got a little list of supplies I want. Uh, there's a quart of liquor. How about uh, uh, letting me have that first? Huh? Who's a paying for this? John Endicott says charge it. Still grub staking, is he? Yeah. Mr. Peters. Just wanted to tell you we'd signed with the ace spread. Well, I'm sorry. But every man his own boss. A luck to you. Thanks. I don't see any of the outfit around here yet. You look inside, I'll go around the back. No, you ain't him. I ain't who? What difference does it make to you? You just ain't him. You are him, Todd Hollister. Todd Hollister. Oh, hey, Basil. Be with you in a minute. Come on, son. I want. I want to talk to you. <sighs> Son, why did you run away? You ought to know. Me? Was it because of what I told you? Oh, and you thought a lad of ten could end a feud between his dad and John Endicott by disappearing? Well, you didn't. Things is worse than ever. Hate's an awful thing, Todd. Don't call me that. I want to be known as Idaho. Suit yourself. I never could understand why the Indicots raised me. Well, when you was born, your ma died. And your dad just went plumb crazy. Said he'd strangle you if they didn't take you away. Then, uh, more indicate, she says, I'll take him and raise him myself. <laughs> yeah, dang it, she didn't. And Clint's been taking it out on John ever since. I'd hoped my father would have changed. That he would be proud and glad to claim me. And he will yet. No, son. Hollister's touched in the head. Someday I'm looking for him to pull something real dirty. Howdy, Mr. Hollister. Howdy, Bascom. So you're running over the mouth again, are you? Well, you're you're trouble with you, is you can't talk. Talk? Yeah, you the trouble with you is you talk too much. Well, if I do, the truth comes out, Clint. The truth ain't easier. Now get out of here before I kick you out. You ain't going to kick nobody out. I'm here on business. Business? Endicott's business, I reckon. Well, are you going? No, I ain't. <laughs> I wouldn't hit him, Mr. Hollister. Nobody asked you to. I do it myself. You're not going to. Why not? Because there wouldn't be much satisfaction for a man like you to hit a little old man like him. Tumblebug, take your stuff and get out of here.
Who are you? I'm on your payroll as Idaho. And the kid here is with me. Well, if I didn't need men like you, I'd fire you right now. I'm buying all your wire. But John Indicott ordered some this morning. Cancel it. Roll it all outside. Get out and help. I'm taking that wire to the Ace of Spades. And I don't aim to have anybody stop me. Then Hollister's your dad. Yeah. But he don't know it yet. Kind of looks like you and me used poor judgment. We picked our male parents. Hey there, you two. If you're working for the Ace, show something. Just a minute here. There's John Endicott. And she must be his daughter, Ruth. Gosh, how she's changed. She sure is pretty. Alistair, half of that wire belongs to me by a prior order. You may tell the gentleman that this wire belongs to me by right of cash purchase. You've got ears, haven't you? I suppose you bullied Bascom into letting you have all of it. But you can't get away with it. Why, you haven't got any use for it. Tell Mr. Endicott that I have use for it. I'm going to push my fence through to the creek. You ain't got any right to do that. I ain't a prospect there. There's gold in that creek. Prospect? And you're going to fence it off. I suppose a few thirsty cattle would interfere with you. Why don't you admit, Hollister, that you're fencing me away from water? Uh, you're not only a range hog, but I'm beginning to think you're a liar to boot. Don't do it. Put that gun up. Get away from him, Idaho. Let him draw. Stand aside. You haven't got a chance, Mr. Endicott. There's three men got you covered right now. I might have known, Hollister, that you'd have it framed so you couldn't lose. Right. No man can call me a liar and get away with it. Get away from him, Idaho. Thank you. It's a comfort to know at least one of our enemies believes in fair play. Why didn't you obey my orders and stand aside? If I had, Endicott would have been killed, either by you or by one of your men. Folks would say Clint Hollister wasn't man enough to fight his own battles. He had it framed to have Endicott killed when he started to draw. By golly, you're all right. You've got nerve and brains to back it up. You stick with me, young fella, and you'll go a long way.
You know, I don't know how you can feel so good about coming back here after the way they treated you. Someday you'll understand, kid. Throw your stuff in the bunkhouse. I'll give you bunks when I get time. Nice people. Well, Slagle warned us. This is a salty outfit. Hmm. We didn't exaggerate none. You take the rolls to the bunkhouse. I'll see the horses. Okay, partner. Hey! Not on loud that wire. Boss says he'll take it off as he leaves it. I know. I like your style. If you pan out like I think you will, I have a special job for you. We dug enough post holes already to bury the standing army. Cheer up, kid. We've only started. And that's no lie. I heard one of the boys say we'd have to work tonight. Any sign of the Endicott outfit? Not yet, but I got boys watching. There's trouble coming, kid. What do you mean? I've got a hunch that they're trying to bluff Endicott into starting something. And I'm lined up against them. Now, don't work yourself to death, you two. You know, we got all year to finish this fence. I guess Peters is headed this way, down the canyon trail. Hey, Mott, follow me. I think you're gone. We've got another job to finish. doing a job to be proud of. Tonight I reckon you'll move your fence clear to the creek and be sure of killing off our stock. Well, don't monkey with that fence, Peters. She stays right where she is. Buffalo! 
those guns! Low down, killers. What's going on here? I don't know. Put up that gun. My gun stays where it is. Peters was framed by your foreman. Fisheye shot him from ambush. That's right, Bib. It's a lie. Fisheye and Peters shot it out. Don't believe this, Jigger. He's an Endicott spy. I back my men every time, Idaho. You're through with the ace spread. Yeah. I'm through. I tried to work for you. Earn your respect. But I can't back a play of this kind. You're bent on putting John Endicott out of business. You're just bitter because you know you're wrong. Too stubborn to admit it. I'm through, all right. I'm taking Jess Peters back home. Now backtrack. Horse, quick. We better get him back to the ranch. Right. but I think you'll make it. You. Better get him inside, uh, Mr. Endicott. You, Smith, Baldy, get Jess down and take him into the house. Joe, get yourself a fresh horse and go to Alder for Doc Templeton. Ruth, get some hot water, quick. Will you come into the house? Give me that. I'm taking care of that horse. It's all right, kid. Doesn't that Idaho remind you of somebody? I've no time to think now, child. We couldn't stand for shooting a man in the back, so we quit. And did he tell Hoster where to head in? Well, I'm sure grateful to you, especially after what happened in town. You don't owe us a thing. But if you could use a couple of new hands, why... A couple of new hands? Well, you're both hired right now. And I hope it's not for killing. Things are coming to a showdown between Hollister and me. He's aiming to fence me off from water. That's what they were planning on doing tonight. But maybe they've been delayed. As I see it, there's only one thing for you to do. What's that? Run a fence smack up against Hollister's and see to it that it stays put. I've thought about that. I've even got the post shop. But he's corralled all the wire there is. I'll get the wire for you. How? Never mind how until I get the wire. Wes Schlegel and the rest of them. I ride in fence, but they ought to be back. Take it easy. They got rifles. Smith! 
Keep those men covered. The rest of you unload that wire, except what Mr. Endicott ordered. What are you doing here? I'm here to pay for that wire that belongs to Endicott. You're crazy. I haven't any such wire. That's another mistake. My men are already loading it. Your men? Where's Mark? In the bunkhouse. Meditating. Just saw Dave, but heading for our spread. Pound on it. You take that wire, you're a pack of thieves. I'm not selling. Here's a certified check. The amount is already deducted from Endicott's balance. If you feel like tearing up good money, that's your loss. The wire is yours. Idaho, you're smart. I'm sorry I let you leave my spread. You win this trick, but the next will be mine. And it'll be a big one. We're all set. Get a wiggle on. I'll not forget that trick, Mr. Hollister. Disarm those men and chuck their guns in the wires. Smith, bring Mott to the wagon. Get up there and drive. You can bring the wagon back when I'm through with it. Take the wagon on this side. Slagle and his gang are coming over the rise now. Get going. Hey. We'll cut him off at the pad. And the rocks are guns for as good as theirs. They are not going through the pass. Go ahead and laugh. Wait till I get you over the side of my gun. You won't laugh so hard. He's done it. Did you do it? Yes, 
Well, the J.E. fence is finished. And not a foot from ours. I wish you'd have let me jump them like I wanted to. I'd have settled them all. There are other ways than gunfighting. Meaning what? Oh, but chair, Bib. I'll tell you. It's happened, whatever it is. Clint uh, Hollister's turned the creek, and we ain't got a drop of water on our side of the fence. Why, well, without water, we'd have to run our cattle out of the valley. Give up our home. It'd ruin us. Why, he can't do that. But he has done it, Mr. Endicott. Then it's the showdown. Boys, get your horses, rifles, plenty of ammunition. We'll settle this thing once and for all. John, you can't do that. You all ride to your desk. She's right. Hollister wants us to come shooting. Let's not do what he expects. The cattle won't suffer for a few days. There are some springs. Let's figure the best way out of Hollister's trap. Idaho's right. I'm only a kid, but I savvy that. Idaho's coppered his bet before. Maybe he can do it again. All right. But it's darn hard for me to sit down and do nothing. Well, Idaho, it's up to you. Idaho, we could never have stopped that if it hadn't been for you. Now you're giving me too much credit. No, I'm not. He has endless confidence in you, and he should have. He sure put it up to me. Well, tell me, what are you going to do? Look for water. What did you find? Why, that spring you told me about is dried up. There used to be one in that canyon. Let's go over. You're sure set on beating Hollister, aren't you? It's not that I want to beat him, kid. I just want him to realize how wrong he's been. Hollister's men. Wonder what they're doing. A good guess would be they got dynamite in that box. And they're going to use it on our big spring. Oh, no, they aren't. Wait a minute. Let's circle them. And no fool moves. Cover the trail while we do the job.
Grab their hardware. Mott, tell your boss if any of his outfits set foot on the J.E. again, they won't come back. Take them to the fence. Thanks for the dynamite. I think I'll have use for it. Stay away from those horses. You can walk some of the meanness out of here. Boss, I was just thinking it seems a shame to let that GE cattle die first. It's a mighty good beef there. What's on your mind? Well, uh, I thought we could open the wires a bit and let a few drift in. They wouldn't be missed. I hired you for your gun, not for your cattle rustling ability. You're stealing no beef while you're working for me. Well, that sounded like dynamite. Probably that old fool Tumblebug Jones setting off a charge. Let's ride out and see what the boys are doing. Boss, Idaho took our dynamite and ran us off to J.E. Land. Took the dynamite? Any of you men hear an explosion a while back? Yeah. Sounded like it was up the old dry canyon. I was hoping my stuff went off under Idaho when I heard it. The clicks been switched as water the full length of the J.E. spread. That Idaho's coppered our bet again. Granger, you're in charge. But follow me. What are you planning to do, Bib? I'm riding into Alder. And I'm camping there till Idaho comes. If I have to stay a month. I'll back your play. I hear you got water. Yeah, Idaho figured it out. I hope this water situation will keep you on the J.E. for a while. Meaning what? Slagle and Motter in town, filling up on Dutch courage. Hollister's in there, too. But he's wearing his Sunday poker face. Thanks. I don't know about Hollister, but Slagle and Mott will gang up on you. This is the showdown, Nichols. Hollister knows he's licked. But Mott and Slagle are out to get me regardless. When things break, I want them both in front of me. And I'm going with you. You're going to the ranch. All right, I'll... That's an order. I don't like it. Idaho knows Hollister's killers are gunning for him, and he's riding right into him. Will you go with me? No, Ruth. Wait till your father gets back and... There's no time. We mustn't let Idaho fight our battles for us. Kid, get my horse. We'll get all the horses.
stole that dynamite from me. And I ought to get first crack. Listen, he's my meat. And when he comes in here, you start crawling under the table. Give me plenty of room. Better start crawling, Mott. I wouldn't, Clint. Idaho, you've horned in where you don't belong and used the information that you received as a member of my crew to aid my enemy. Now you've finished two more of my men. This country's not big enough to hold both of us. Get out of town by sundown tonight or come shooting. old buzzard must have been eating raw beef. Oh, I'm going to stop this. Kid, remember your promise? You're not telling anybody who I am? Oh, but gosh, Idaho, he's your father. I know, but you're still not telling. Idaho, you can't shoot your own father, and you can't let him kill you. What you gonna do? I don't know. Sometimes it takes a lot more courage to run than it does to stay and fight. And Clint gave him until six o'clock tonight to get out. Oh, Dad, have you heard? What are you going to do? I know you want to help me, kid, but there's nothing you can do. This is just one of those things a fellow's got to settle for himself. that much to you? Then you don't need to worry any more about it. There's something we can do, and we're going to do it. to strike at me through the best man I know. But I'm the man you're stepping up against, not Idaho. Hollister, I'm ordering you to leave town a half hour before sunset or come a-shoot. That suits me, Endicott. Concerned borrow mine, she's loaded down with high grade and uh, why what's the matter, son? Clint Hollister gave me till sundown to leave town. And I'm going. 
You sure was in the jail. And I guess blood is thicker than water. I once knew a fellow by the name of Todd Hollister. I promised I'd never mention his name again. If you ever meet up with him, will you tell him I'm glad I know him? Will you? Thanks, Tumblebug. Do you think this... Todd Hollister would... would run away if he was in my boots? Son, I'm hoping he'd be man enough to do just what you're to do. Young Todd found it best to run. He wouldn't want folks to know who he was, would he? He sure wouldn't. And if I knowed it, wild horses wouldn't drag it from me. Bug. Have you seen Idaho? Uh, uh, why, son, have you seen my borough? The damn critters loaded down with paper. You have seen them. Now you gotta tell me. Endicott's taking a fight off his shoulders, and Hollister will kill him. Well, uh, if you kept oh, on oh, up, the, up the road, uh, well, there's lots of people travel that way, you know. I'm glad to see you, kid. I'm going back to Idaho, and I want you to go with me. Hmm. Running away, are you? Letting someone else fight your battle. What do you mean? Ennicott's meeting Hollister a half hour before sundown. What? I guess he figured he got you into this mess, and he's man enough to get you out. About 5.40. I don't think you can make it. I've got to. Excuse me, folks. We're expecting a little trouble here in a little while. You folks better get in out of sight. And you too, there's going to be some shooting in this. Do you suppose Idaho has really skipped out? All I know is I'm going to keep this street clear so there'll be an even break. Maybe we better get undercover too.
I wouldn't, Miss Ruth. when he was just a baby. And now when he came trying to make friends with you, you killed him! I... I, boy? What's this you're saying? I mean it, Clint Hollister. The man you just shot is your own son. I know it all along you was Todd Hollister. Think you could fool the woman that raised you from a baby? I guess I made a mess of the whole thing. I wanted to make friends with him. But everything I did turned him against me more. Where's the kid? Oh, he just rode out somewhere. He'll be back soon. Where you been? Oh, just riding around. Gee, Hollister's gonna tear down that fence. He's fired all his old outfit and has hired new men. Even offered me a job in Idaho. You suppose you can stand another visitor? Sure. Who is it, Tumblebug? How are you, son? I'm glad to see you. Dad? It won't stray again. Oh, <laughs> who's talking about a mule? I'm talking about gold. We're rich, I tell you. Rich! Clint? Half of that gold is yours. I don't want it. I found something that means more to me. Something I threw away 25 years ago. Will you come home, son? Yes, Dad. We'll come home. <laughs> 